Tell me if this sounds familiar. A pro-democracy party tries to pass a crucial new voting rights bill to protect people of color from being disenfranchised. Now, long ago, this party passed transformative civil and voting rights bills. But in the decades since, the opposition has rallied to tear it all down. But this new voting rights bill hits a roadblock. It's called a Senate filibuster. A few key swing senators refuse to overturn it. Instead, they agree to a deal with the opposition to pass unrelated pro-business legislation that they think will get them reelected. Ultimately, it comes down to one senator, a millionaire, from a resource-rich state. It's up to him to decide if voting rights are important enough to end the filibuster. If this sounds familiar, it should be, because this is the story of the Lodge Bill of 1890. It ends with California Robert Barron and Senator Leland Stanford and others like him refusing to vote to end the filibuster, leaving the bill to die in the Senate. The biggest threat to Jim Crow election laws for a generation would die with it. It would take Congress 75 years after the failure of the Lodge Bill to pass a bill strong enough to protect the right to vote, the Voting Rights Act of 1965. But this is also the unfinished story of a voting rights bill in 2022. The Freedom to Vote John R. Lewis Act is held up in the Senate thanks to the Senate filibuster. And you guessed it, wealthy senators with big money ties. We are once again at an inflection point for voting rights. Will we end the Jim Crow filibuster and protect democracy? Or let history repeat itself and watch our democracy wither slowly? How this story ends has yet to be written.